Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to address one of the problem that I am like every day I am getting two or three emails regarding this one. So I thought like I'll cover in the video and I'll explain what exactly the problem. It is related to ENG basically. So they are getting no bootable device found. So whenever they start any of the devices, they are going they are getting this error message. So I'll tell you today that how we are going to properly set up the image in ENG first and why we are getting this no bootable device found. Okay. And I'll show you the fix and what changes that we have to make it. Okay. So I'll request you to please watch this video till the end so that you can fix this problem and you can successfully build your own lab to practice. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, first of all, we'll see how we are going to properly set up the images. So if you want to see how exactly need to set up the ENG, how to import the images and all those things. I have a detailed video which I have created, which you can find in the I button or you can check in the description box of the video. Okay, so you can find that particular video link and you can go over there. You can watch that. That is a recommendation. Okay, so now for now, what I'm expecting that we have already set up the ENG. Now we how the image has to be set up that we are going to see right now. Okay. So the first thing what we are going to see is what we have to do is you go to a website called as Eve NG. Okay. Go here. This is the website. Now go to documentation. In documentation basically you have to go to Qmo image naming okay now here when you come here okay for an example i'm just searching for windows okay now if you see this the folder name has to be look like this this is the vendor uh, this is something that uh, like this is related not to any folder or images, but it is just a name of that particular vendor. Okay. And the Qmo image has to be names should be like this. So if I go for windows, so if you are doing a setup or if you are creating a folder, you have to create the folder with the name of win. Or after that, you can put anything win hyphen XP win hyphen 11 win hyphen 10 something like that. Okay, this is Windows host. Okay, and the image name has to be like this. Okay, so now let's move on to when CP and I'll show you the name of that particular image uh, the folder that I've created and the image of that particular folder. Okay. So let me put the IP address over here. 202.128 root EVE. Okay. Now you have to click on this particular button, this one, and then you have to go to basically OPT okay then unit lab okay and then you have to go to add-ons okay and then QMO now this particular path that you have to go okay maybe if I will be putting this path into the description box you can go and basically that path will be there for you guys as well okay so now you can see a lot of image over here and we are just checking for windows. So now whenever you see any windows related, you are seeing how win hyphen, win hyphen, win hyphen. 
right this is windows server now if you go and check windows server starts with windows server right so let's say if i open windows 7 now what is the image name that you're seeing over here you're seeing the image name has to be hda or it's variety okay now now the name is matching okay let's move on to the lab and we'll try to add a node so windows 7 for an example okay let's start this okay now once you start the windows will get started okay now for an example i'll stop this and i'll do some changes on this okay so i'll just put one now once we start this and if i try to go to console now you are seeing boot failed booting from cd rom boot boot failed some some messages that is coming before started like it found the image and started loading the windows xp now it says no bootable device because the naming convention the name is not matching what is that hda and here if you see hda1 so what does it mean the name is not matching that is the reason he is not able to recognize the image or the file he is not able to recognize that is the reason he is not able to boot it so let me remove and rectify this okay and we'll move on to evng i'll stop this and i'll start it again okay so once we start now see normally it is getting started so guys number of time like i have replied more than 100 emails till now to change that particular naming convention okay so always whenever you see always check the qmo folder name and the qmo image name if they are proper if they are if i check for palo alto so palo alto hyphen and the image name has to be like this if this is correct your image should be started now whatever image that i have shared in google drive okay in the google drive if you see that particular image might be that image will have different name of it you can just verify with the naming convention over here okay so this is a very very short video that i wanted to bring out to your notice guys so that you guys can rectify and start doing lab for you okay so this is what i wanted to cover in this video and uh, thank you so much for watching and i'll see in the next video please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me thank you